from the latest read from the National Association of Home Builders showing that the sector continuing to recover, which companies are best positioned in this environment? We're now joined by Rafe Jadrusic, who is the B of A Securities Senior Home Builders Analyst. First, just wanted to get your takeaway from this latest reading as builder sentiment rises above that break-even point. Great. Th thanks for having me. Yeah, so what we've seen so far this year is that going into spring selling, new home demand has stayed relatively robust, despite that, as you mentioned, mortgage rates have stabilized, but they are still elevated. Home builders have been able to sell homes by first using rate buy downs, um, which is helping to, to drive demand. Um, but also they've been building some smaller homes that help solve the affordability buyers, uh, the affordability challenges for buyers. So generally a pretty strong start to the year going into spring selling for, for home builders. Is that a trend that you expect to continue, Rafe? Yeah, so we have a pr proprietary indicator for new home sales. Um, and generally, it's showing that that we'd expect a recovery through uh, through 2024, um, despite, again, the higher rates. Where we're seeing tailwinds is we still have really strong demographics, and that's millennials entering the, the home market. Uh, boomers are actually still the, the biggest buyer of, of homes, and they've been benefiting from a wealth effect. Um, and then you're, you're also ge generally seeing just just favorable job market and, and um, a strong economy. Um, so all that is, is helping offset the, the higher rates and tight affordability. Right, when we talk about the fact that new homes uh, accounting for more of the overall homes uh, sold here, are you expecting that to happen again? And I guess, what is that percentage that you're expecting to see of new homes accounting for overall home sales? So if you look at active listings in the U.S., historically, uh, it's about new homes are about 10 to 15 percent of the total active listings. Right now, that's up to 30 percent of the active listings on the market that are new home. And that, that goes back to a point that you made earlier. Um, there's just very homes, a few uh, homes that are in the resale market that are being listed. Um, and that's what we expect that to sort of continue in a, in a similar pace. Right now, 80 percent of, of people that have a mortgage on their house um, are below 5 percent, which is well below the six, uh, six and three quarter rate that's out there right now. So the disincentive for people to sell their house is very high. Uh, so we would expect the, 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 the majority of listings to or at least in the 30 percent range of listings to remain in the new home side. If we see less rate cuts from the Fed than anticipated on the back half of this year, how will that impact some of the buyer activity that you're anticipating to emerge? I, it's, it's, what's really interesting, what we've learned, um, is that even just mortgage rate stability has brought back buyers into the market. Hmm. Um, so even without seeing mortgage rates come down, we've seen pretty robust demand heading into spring. Um, and just stability on the mortgage rate side has given people confidence to come back into the market. So you don't think, I guess, talk a little bit more specifically about what you expect mortgage rates that level to be at where we are today compared to where we will likely be then at the end of the year if the Fed does in fact cut? Because I think a lot of people are asking how quickly the rate on the 30-year mortgage will go down if we do see the Fed cut. Yeah, so there's, there's two factors driving the mortgage rate, right? Mm -hmm. You have the 10-year treasury yield, which is it's, it's partially set off of, um, and then you have the spread of, 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 of the mortgage rate above that. Um, mortgage rate volatility is a big driver of that spread. Um, and what we've seen is that that mortgage rate vol has started to come down and compress a little bit. So as mortgage rate volatility comes down, you know, right now the spread is almost 300 basis points. Mortgage rates are nearly 300 basis points above the 10-year Treasury yield. Uh, we would actually expect that to start to narrow. Um, generally, we, our, our mortgage-backed security team expects mortgage rates to kind of settle in the low 6% range, about six and a quarter. Um, and that's with the 10 year, it's with two uh, 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 Fed rate cuts this year. And then just lastly, while we have you, at, at what price? Are, are we anticipating a material delta in how the average price shifts as, as we kind of move into the buying season this year versus what we saw last year? Hey, the interesting dynamic that's happening in the housing market is new home prices have come down about 10% from the peak levels, while existing home prices haven't come down at all. Hmm. Um, we think new home prices have generally stabilized at these levels with mortgage rate, rate stable. Um, overall, we expect kind of a, a low single digit increase in home prices in, in 2024. And generally, that's just driven by the stabilization or even uh, decline in mortgage rates later on in this, this year. All right, Rafe Jadrasich, Bank of America's Securities, a senior home builders analyst. Thanks so much for joining us here, Rafe. Great. Thanks for having me.